Hello everybody, welcome to the Dan Mackey 2 episode 6 anime review. We're we're proper into the, the Haruhime arc now, that's good. They released a, a trailer that I didn't watch, but they released it, so good on them for releasing trailers, I guess. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I I enjoyed this episode. I've kind of got that thing where I, now I know what's going to happen. It's cool seeing all it animated, but that's about all, all I'm really getting, because I already know plot-wise what's going on. I'm still enjoying it though, and I'm not going to spoil anything because I'm, I'm a nice, I'm a nice guy like that. But anyway, let's get on with this episode from the beginning and see what 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 went on. We begin with mysterious Amazon lady. I know we find out who it is later, but for right now, she's mysterious lady. She releases the women onto the the, the town. That's all I got to say about that part. That more later on that. Uh, Makoto then sneaks back with Hestia Familia. Makoto sneaks out, sneaks out. Uh, the other three, of course, follow though because they, they're main characters. They got to get screen time. Um, Makoto then meets up with Chigusa, and they go to the pleasure quarter. To which Bell and not Bell, the other two, Wealth and Lily are like, "Oh no!" And Bell's like, "Wait a minute, guys! I've heard about this place. My little boy brain has heard about this place." Um, so yeah, then while they're following, Bell gets taken off, or he gets lost in the crowd, I guess. But uh, Wealth and Lily go and help Makoto. Uh, and then they, Makoto and Chigusa, tell Wealth and Lily, hey, there's a friend of ours apparently working here. And they're like, working here? And they're like, yes, yes, that's what, it's exactly what you think. And I, f I feel like I remember in the light novel they were way more, here's what's going on. Here it's like a lot of skirting around the topic, aside from the little bit later on. They're all prostitutes there, essentially, is what it is. Women of the night, or whatever. Uh, and then they all realise they lost Bell, and they're like, ah, oh, crap. So yeah, Bell is on his own, and he's just a wee... He sh should be getting kicked out for being underage, but, you know, fantasy world. As he's exploring, he sees a fox girl with, uh, I think they're called Renards. Renard? Renard? Is it a T or a D? I don't remember. I feel like they might have changed it for the anime. I don't know. Uh, then he runs into Hermes, your boy. Your boy Hermes is there too. I wonder what he's up to. Um... It gives him an aphrodisiac. He's like, here you go, Bell. Have an aphrodisiac. Uh, just in case you need it, I guess. Bell then runs into an Amazon girl, because, and her name is Aisha, and then there's a lot of Amazons, and they all want to shag him, and they kidnap him, take him to their house. They're members of Ishtar Familia. Oh, no. he's 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 been kidnapped. It was all a... Well, it wasn't a ruse. It was half a ruse. It was a Familia... No, they, they just want to all shag him. It's basically... He's 14, guys. I fantasy world. So, Bell, as you would expect, is absolutely terrified. He doesn't want to be here. He's trying to get his way out of it. It's not working. Bell, you better just take your lumps. Your lumps, in this case, are... Yep. Uh, but then we meet the familiar commander, and Jesus Christ um, is all I'm going to say. Let's just leave it at that. They start arguing amongst themselves. Bell uses this opportunity to stealthily make his way, but then they all, it's like a movie. They all just go... Like, Hang on a sec. They're all just like, like that. And then he has to run away. And he does. And then, the, it's not just Ishtar Familia. The entire Pleasure Quarter, which I guess is owned by Ishtar, sort of. They're all after him, so everybody is after him for... Yep. Uh, then he finds, like, a traditional, like, Japanese-type building. And he's like, okay, I'm gonna hide in here. Finds that fox girl again. Her name's Haruhime. Now they're gonna do the sex. A lot of doing the sex this week. Uh, and then she sees his, his collarbone and uh, passes out. Because collar, nothing is sexier than collarbones. I've got to make sure mine's covered. I don't want YouTube to, uh, to flag this video for indecent content. So I've got, to, I've got to keep the collarbone, keep it contained. So yeah, off screen, Belle explains, Hey, I'm not a customer. I'm not here to do no shagging or none of that. Uh, the building is a brothel. It looks very traditional, nice and Japanese. It's just a brothel. I'm like, oh, <laughs> okay, fine, I guess. He tells her everything that happens. He's like, oh, it's okay. I help you get out of here um, once, you know, later, later, basically. Uh, then they, they tell some stories. She tells about how she got kicked out of her family and sold to Ishtar Familia, which is great. They both, bunch know a, they both know a bunch of hero stories, so they share stories about them. Then we cut to Hermes, who brought Ishtar a box with something in it. 
and uh, then is like, give me the information about that I want, and he's like, I don't have any information, and then she takes off her clothes, so that's all i got to say about that. Uh, Haruhime wants to be like rescued by a hero, but she's like, I can't because I'm a prostitute, and I'm like, it's not how that works. I mean, I can understand your logic, because heroes save the princesses, but no, your, your logic is flawed. Um, and she leads him to the exit. After he leaves, Aisha just grabs Haruhime and is like, hey, come on, we're friends, let's go. Uh, also, Hermes got shagged so much that the information about Bell, like, Ishtar now knows about that somebody's after Bell. I wonder who that somebody could be. They don't overtly say it, so I'm not going to say it because I actually know. Uh, but it's pretty obvious anyway. I don't feel like it would be a spoiler, but I don't want to get people mad at me. So, uh, it's the one you're thinking of, basically. But, uh, but yeah. Uh, I don't... How do you... How is shagging someone, like, a punishment? I guess if you do it too much, you get, like... <sighs> Let's just move on. Uh, now Ishtar is after Bell as well at the end. She's like, you know what? I'm gonna get that Bell boy. Not a Bell boy, but that Bell comma. No, there's no, there wouldn't be a comma there. You know what I'm trying to say? Anyway, that was this week's episode. Yeah, like I said, a lot of the sex happening. Or not, not happening. Happening off screen. Or being thought about... Also, the others, like, the others, like, never found Belle. So did they go home, or are they still looking around? Who knows? I don't know. Uh, are they going to be mad at him? I don't remember. Like, legit, don't remember. Oh, well, I got that to ex be excited about. Does Belle still have that aphrodisiac, or did he get, did he, like, did he get it back? Because if he's got that, i got to find it, and that's not going to be good for him. So, hopefully, hopefully everything works out. But anyway... Thank you everybody for watching. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing for millions of other reviews. I'll be doing this show every week. Thank you everybody for watching. I'll see you next week. And bye guys.